Okay, um, finishing up with, uh, well, we basically finished up uh, security awareness and uh, education and training, but I did want to mention um, the, uh, uh, just one thing, I, I mentioned uh, our secret weapon, Dr. Bonnie, and uh, I, I would encourage any of you who are interested in uh, determining how to uh, do training effectively um, to uh, search out the BC government's uh, website on um, uh, on YouTube um, look up the daily updates I'm pretty sure they're still there uh, that is essentially uh, the Dr. Bonnie show uh, co-starring Adrian Dix and Nigel Howard and it is a master class in how to effectively communicate um, complex, complicated, and, and difficult um, uh, technical information uh, from, uh, you know, in, in a situation where um, there is... Um, uh, incomplete uh, information, changing information, you know, it's a very, very difficult situation, and uh, Dr. Bonnie really, really did it in an effective manner. Um, it is, uh, you know, it, it really is, like I said, you know, it's a master class in, in how to do that kind of awareness training um, effectively. Uh, so, uh, look at that. Um, that's that's your resource uh, that uh, shows you how to do it um, now um, I uh, now turn to information classification and um, we are we're going to touch on this again uh, in uh, access control because of course we've got tools like mandatory access control where you match the uh, uh, the classification against the uh, clearance that somebody holds. And, and by the way, just a piece of trivia, um, in uh, uh, teaching these seminars over the decades, um, I uh, came across, across an oddity. I couldn't find any definitions of clearance. Um, the, uh, uh, the U.S. government, the U.S. military, uh, where uh, an op a whole bunch of the early uh, uh, security uh, research and literature and publications came up from, uh, they didn't do it. Um, and I went to various glossaries and dictionaries. I could not find an actual definition of clearance. So uh, when I wrote the Dictionary of Information Security, I made sure that I defined clearance in there. So you're welcome. Um, anyway, uh, in terms of information classification, unfortunately, we are not doing it well. We are not doing it as much as we used to, even. You know, whereas other areas of technology have advanced and uh, where we're, you know, we're getting uh, better materials and, and more uh, work done in, in a number of areas, information classification is is lagging is is worse than it was before we're very often not doing information classification at all or we are doing it on a very lackluster um, slack basis we will uh, create uh, you know a set of uh, classification levels but we won't define what they are and we leave people to define, you know, using those classification levels basically any way they want. And that is, well, it's, it's not good enough. It, it just, you know, it does not give you what you need from information classification. Information classification is not just a, a formal thing. I mean, yes, we will discuss it in terms of uh, formal models. And we are going to uh, uh, 
uh, talk about how uh, it works with uh, those formal models. Um, but uh, it's, it's not just a, a formal academic exercise. It is important. It is increasingly important because, of course, your information classification helps you to determine the value of the asset and what types of protection you have to apply to it. Um, uh, not only are we not uh, doing the information classification, and, and you know, originally it was just on the basis of confidentiality, you know, how private do we have to keep this information? We need to expand that. We need to look at classification in terms of its value in regard to availability. How much is this information being available to us worth to us? How uh, important is it uh, if all of a sudden this, this information is no longer available to us? Um, how important is it that we maintain the integrity of this information? And again, as we, as we get into uh, access control, I tend to say uh, managers should have read access to everything and write access to nothing because uh, managers are far too prone to correcting information that is already correct and, and therefore introducing errors. Uh, so, you know, we need to, uh, we need to protect ourselves sometimes from, from that type of activity. So we need to know, um, you know, it, it, not just in terms of, of confidentiality, but the, the rest of the triad as well. Um, and we aren't doing that. We, uh, well, we, we aren't even doing it in terms of, of confidentiality, uh, let alone looking at the additional uh, factors that we need to address in terms of information classification. We are not taking the time. We are not putting the thought into it. And again, you know, this goes back to our policy. We should be in our policy uh, documents. Well, not in, in policy per se, uh, although policy should probably state that, yes, we, we information classification is important to us. Um, but we need to, in our, in our procedures, in our standards, uh, we need to assess what um, uh, we do in terms of information classification and how, uh, how do we assure that we are classifying things uh, consistently and uh, in ensuring that our classifications are correct. Because our classifications are, uh, you know, as, as I have mentioned, guiding um, not only the resources, uh, not only the budgets, um, the time, the, the personnel years that we have to put into protecting uh, our, our information assets, but what type of protection they need. Do they only need to be protected in terms of confidentiality, or do we have to pay attention to uh, the availability aspect to the integrity asset. Uh, you know, maybe the the integrity is even more important than the confidentiality. So, you know, how how do we protect uh, this type of information is determined by the information classification. What type of information is this? What does it do for us? And what do we need to do for it? <laughs>